Introducing an environmentally friendly acetone replacement product, Polychem Acrostrip. The demonstrations that follow are just a few examples where the Polychem Acrostrip can be used within the composites industry to replace hazardous cleanup solvents. Ask your local distributor about all the applications where the Polychem Acrostrip can be used in your facility. This is just your typical Polychem bucket. Uh, where we're going to do some roller cleaning uh, and some tool cleaning. Uh, as you notice, if you look inside the bucket, there's what's called a grit guard. And what that'll do is, is let all the resin fall down to the bottom uh, once everything is cleaned. Uh, so any tools that are sitting in the bucket uh, don't get recontaminated with, with resin or gel coat or whatever it is that we're cleaning out. Got some catalyzed resin on a wet resin brush. All right. Now the key to this uh, is to wash the is to wash the brush and take it out. Unlike letting it soak in acetone, we're simply going to put it in there. You can either go on the bottom of the grit guard, or you can simply do it by hand, just back and forth. Clean the brush out. Shake it off a little bit. As you can see, all the resin has been removed from the brush. Then you simply just shake it out and hang it up to dry. Okay, again, catalyzed, ro catalyzed resin on a roller. Okay, um, instead of sticking it in an acetone and letting it sit, we're simply going to take the roller. Shake it pretty vigorously. I'm going to remove that resin from my hands. Once again, rollers, roller comes out clean. Once the roller is clean, uh, if there's resin on the handle, you'd simply dip the handle in, and you will have to wipe the handle with a dry rag so it's, so it's not slippery when you're done. After the roller is clean, simply take it out of the bucket, hang it to dry, or just sling it dry, hit it with compressed air, and go back to laminate. So now we have the quick disconnect roller, all covered in resin. I have it on the handle because it's on my hands. So we're just going to take this off, clean the stem out, shake the roller around in there. stem are clean. Inside the roller will be clean and clean and you just leave them out to dry, put them back together the next day when you're ready to go, clean off the handle, wipe it with a dry cloth and you're ready to go. For quick hand washing, uh, as you can notice my hands are completely filled with catalyzed resin all over my gloves. You would simply go into the solution, wash your hands clean, come out, now there will be some surfactant left on the gloves, so the best thing to do is simply just have some paper towels or a dry rag near you and just dry your hands clean. As you can see, there's no tackiness, no tackiness to my hands at all. Okay, the material is also safe on the skin and non-transdermal. So here's catalyzed resin right on my hands, 
and it would be the same way. wash the catalyzed resin off your hands. Hands are clean. And simply take your dry cloth. Wipe your hands dry. And once again, there is absolutely no tackiness left on the material. Okay, this is a resin filter all gummed up, uh, pulled out of a Magnum Venus resin gun. And we're going to take that, we're going to take that, and we're going to take that and clean these both out with uh, the AcroStrip 800. This is the other part of the filter, it has all gelled and kicked resin in it. We're going to clean that out as well. Just brushing off clean parts now that have been sitting for two, two and a half hours. Good. This is the uh, valve that earlier was completely clogged with cured resin. As you can see, everything's loosened up. We see through that if we bring it outside. Yeah. Well, if you can, if you remember that part, this was completely filled with resin. It's the pump shaft that was completely filled with cured resin. Uh, holes on here. We're completely clogged. And as you can see, you can see right through them, everything is completely clean. This is the filter body out of the chop gun machine. Yes. Uh, again, was completely clogged. And as you can see, everything is cleaned. It was cleaned out with the little wire, the little brush and Julio's hand here, but came out spotless clean, ready to go back on the machine, be rebuilt. Okay, this is also a, a resin, a filled resin pickup tube, uh, obviously with completely cured resin on it, uh, filled resin, and we are going to take this and strip this out with the AcroStrip 800 as well. Okay, now these were just to accelerate the process if you use heat. Uh, this, if you can see how it's already wrinkled and crinkled, uh, this part has been in at about 140 degrees and it's been in for about five minutes. Uh, let's come back and check on this in a little while. And this again is the filled resin. As you can see, we're going to go back to this part that had the uh, filled resin on it. Uh, this is after about soaking for uh, about 30 minutes now. And it is almost completely clean. What was completely locked up inside is now completely see-through. This was filled with, filled with resin locked up. This is the piece that we had in the hot acro strip. 
Uh, that soaked for about two hours. That was the filled resin. Uh, this was completely clogged and completely covered the outside of it. And as you can see, it's all been released uh, and really just wiped off with a soft brush. And then once again, that's the filled resin that's been soaking in a hot acro strip for about 30 minutes. Uh, now what we're going to do is hit it with a compressed air gun and, and see if we can blow all that, all the loosened material out of there. That's after about an hour soak and a uh, blown off with compressed air. Here I'm just going to demonstrate some non-skid cleanup. Uh, this is permanent Sharpie marker written uh, on a hull, uh, on a deck, I'm sorry, uh, with the non-skid. Uh, it's got some resin and dirt and just typical shop soils on it. And we're going to wipe it clean with some Macrostrip 600. Permanent marker comes right off. How long has this been on here, Leo? A week. That's yeah, just one little area of the non skid that we cleaned up with the Acrostrip 600. And this is generally what the material will look like uh, after cleaning uh, during the day. If you see how it's separating into layers, and you can see the dark resin down at the bottom, uh, that would be the catalyzed resin with the MEKP. Uh, the top has turned a pinkish color because of the emulsification of the dye in the MEKP that gets emulsified in the 800. But uh, at the same time, the material is completely clean and non-tacky on top. And what settles down to the bottom uh, will eventually harden and become non-hazardous waste. In addition to the Polychem Acro Strip being available in drums and pails, it is also available in saturated wipes for ease of use. In addition, our newest product available is Polychem BioLock 9000. The Polychem BioLock 9000 replaces sanding as it relates to surface preparation for secondary bonding. A simple, quick, and easy wipe of the BioLock 9000 on all surfaces allows for secondary bonding, thus reducing energy, labor, and dust associated with standard sanding applications. Polychem would like to thank you for your interest on the Acrostrip line. Please feel free to contact the distributor in your area for technical support and product availability.